This is Carissa Enright. This is the continuation of a series of videos that will cover the medication categories most commonly used in psychiatry. The selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor and antidepressants were the first to solve the major problems we had with the MAOI and tricyclic antidepressants. It is hard to overstate how very important these medications are to medicine in general. To this day, they are regarded as the first line of medication to trial in a drug-naive depressed person. The soundbite for SSRI is safe sex. I picked a provocative soundbite because it is memorable, but of course I'm not talking about condoms here. The safe part of the bite is to emphasize that it is particularly hard to overdose on these medications. Of course, like all antidepressants, people regain energy before their mood lifts, so nurses must still perform suicide assessments, particularly in the teen and young adult population. You've heard the warnings that the SSRI can cause suicidal thoughts, but I tend to believe that the suicidal thoughts were already there. The medications just give the teen the energy to carry out the impulse. Either way, suicide is always a high risk when patients start on antidepressants. The side effect profile for the SSRIs is much more tolerable than the earlier antidepressants. In fact, many people never notice any problems, except for one. All serotonin reuptake inhibitors will disrupt the fine balance of neurotransmitters that are responsible for the normal sexual response. Some patients notice a lowered libido or lack of interest, and almost all will find some changes to the experience of orgasm. Switching to another SSRI sometimes help alleviate this, but the only sure way to avoid this side effect is to go off the SSRI and try another class of antidepressant. Most commonly, lack of libido was already present during the depression. People just assume that the sexual side effects are actually symptoms of their depression and not a side effect. Compared to the depths of their mood previous to the drug, the overall feeling of well-being is welcome. So they just decide to live with the sexual side effects as part of their new life. And don't ever forget to warn your patients about this universal side effect. Reassure them that there are alternatives. Once again, these are the notes provided in your course on these medications. All this information has the potential of being tested on your next exam.